Having uh, pictures of the team that serves at the church is a good idea on the website. So in this video, I just want to show you how to explain how to take some good photos so that they look good on the website. So overall, we want to display the photos where they look uniform. They don't have to be uh, perfectly the same, but they do want to, we do want them to be uniform so they look very similar. So I'll give you a few, a few tips on how to do that. First of all, we want to use a depth uh, in the background. So put a background that has a lot of depth to it, not up against a wall. Uh, if you have an iPhone, put it on your portrait mode or equivalent on an Android. So the portrait mode is going to blur the background, keep the foreground nice and sharp. Then you want to make sure that you're using good lighting. Quickest way, easiest way to do this is to do it outside in some shaded area. So stand underneath the shade and then that's going to give nice even lighting. Uh, sunlight's going to be really good. And then uh, you can see with some of these pictures, like they're outside, there's some sun shining, but they're in the shade. Like looks like a, they're under a tree here on this on these photos. Now use a background that can be similar. Uh, so maybe find a good spot at the church where you can do all the staff photos or the leader photos that you might want to do all in the same location. So again, we want to blur that background by using the portrait mode and make sure the background it has some distance to it. Probably 10 feet or more in the background would give enough for that blur to take place. And make sure the, the background isn't too wild or crazy. Something more muted would be great. So the, I, this photo is, again, not taken in the context, so completely different. But try to have the similar pose as well. Posing is, uh, you know, we, we can go pretty in-depth on that. But for the most part, looking at the camera, smiling, that would be great. Also use the rule of thirds. So I just looked this up online very quickly about the rule of thirds for portrait photography. So the eyeballs need to be on the top third. So uh, if you're familiar with the rule of thirds, you're dividing the screen or that viewfinder into three parts, both horizontally and vertically. I personally like to take photos that are horizontal. Um, I like I like that look. But if you wanted to do a vertical, then this is the idea. You want the face to be the you know majority of that uh, photo, but then the eyeballs are on the top third. So there's a little bit of room on the top here uh, where it doesn't go right up against the uh, the top of the frame, and this will be a really nice shot. And then if you're doing horizontal, then we want to use the same thing where it's the top third. This one, uh, I like to leave a little bit of room at the, at the top of the head, so you might want to move the eyeballs down just a little bit, but for the most part, this will this is probably a better, like the eyeballs are down just a little bit, so you can have the, the entire um, hairline in the shot. So that's probably a better look right there. Uh, but you're using the thirds, and uh, you're trying to get everything lined up. This is, a, this is supposed to be a portrait, so we're going to center it up where the face is in the middle. Uh, if you wanted to, it looks much better if you do go on a right third or a left third. Again, that's on the horizontal. Don't want to get too technical, but that's the big idea. Use the rule of thirds. Get that, um, that those eyes in the, in the shot, and uh, this will be a really nice page. Again, this is really good. If, if somebody's checking out the church for the first time, they want to see a page with the leadership. Uh, they want to see that people are in charge of their kids or in charge of their youth or anything else that, that the church might have. It, even if these people are volunteers, but if you have leaders on the website, it presents well to let people know that there's a good uh, leadership in place. And when they're checking out the church for the, for the first time, that's going to speak well of the church.